Hey everybody, all right, today we're gonna to be talking about area. Um, in this lesson, you will find the area of a figure and you will discover how area relates to um, the operations of multiplication and addition. Um, so you'll be learning about what area is and you'll understand why um, and what it has to do with multiplication and addition. Today you're going to need this piece of paper, that says area at the top, okay? You're also gonna need your, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my goodness. You're gonna need your little um, purple and red one ones squares, okay? So if you need to pause and get those out, go ahead and grab them. We don't need them necessarily right away, but you will need to have those, okay? All right, I'm gonna take a look at this chart here perimeter area chart perimeter remember is the sum of the sides side lengths perimeter is the distance around a figure around so it's on the edge on the outside um, and perimeter is measured in units so now like we talked um, yesterday we had some examples where perimeter was measured in feet or yards. Um, when you just have numbers and you're finding perimeter, you'll use units. So uh, perimeter is the distance around a figure. Okay. Today we're going to be talking about area. So I want you to look at the inside of this big rectangle here. Um, the space that is within a figure. So all the space inside of the figure is called the area and that um, sometimes it's necessary to measure the area within a region or a figure. So that would be like with what we had yesterday. When we were measuring the perimeter of Liam's bedroom because his mom needed to put wallpaper around the edges the perimeter around the edges, the area would be if they needed to do carpet on the floor. So the space that covers the inside of the shape, that's area. Perimeter is the outside, the outside edges. So the wallpaper going along the walls. Area would be like covering the floor, the area with carpet, okay? So we're talking about area today. Um, Besides maybe putting in new floors and carpet, why might your mom or dad need to know the area of the floor in a room in your house? Why would they need to know the area of, of, of a room? You might say things like new carpet or new flooring, okay? That would cover part of the floor or all of the floor. They wanted to know how much space they were cleaning or you are cleaning, things like that, okay? So I want you to look at this rectangle here. There we go. And this red, this one red square we've got right here. This is a square. It has four sides. All of the sides are the same length, okay? Each square in this rectangle, every single square, not just the one that's full, Every single square inside this rectangle represents one unit square. One unit square. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to count all the square units inside this rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. How many unit squares are within this rectangle? How many unit squares? There's 24. Each unit square has one square unit of area and that area of a region or figure is called square units. I'll say that again. Each unit square, each unit square has one square unit of area. So that's, 
I'm trying to think of a better way to say that, but um, this we call one unit square. And the measurement of this one unit square is one square unit. That'll come along to you more the more we talk about this, okay? Um, the area of a region or a figure is measured in square units. So when we counted how many unit squares would fit inside, we said there's 24. So when they say, okay, so what's the area? We would say that the area is 24 square units. One unit square as a noun, one unit square. And then we say it's one square units as a measurement, okay? The area of the rectangle is 24 square units, okay? Down here at the bottom, it says, area is the space within a figure. Area is measured in square units. Area is the sum of the unit squares, okay? I'd like you to take out your area worksheet. Yours looks like this. Okay, and you're gonna need your red one squares, or your purple one squares. The red on one side, purple on the other. Okay, you wanna have those out. Each of the squares that you're gonna use will be used to represent one unit square. So I'm gonna just take a look at number one on your sheet. Look at number one on your sheet. I want you to take your little squares and cover up um, and cover up number one. I think that your squares are a little bigger than this picture. So I want you to see how many are there. And I want you to cover. So like make the inside corners touch. For example, if I had if I had little red one squares, which I don't. I would take one and it would probably be like that big. So you wanna do, so there I'd have one and then I'd place a second one over here. It would cover that corner. Three, four. Put down your one squares to cover up number one. Okay, how many squares are within this square? There's four squares in there. So what do you think the area, the inside part, the area of the square is? We would say that it is four square units. Four square units. Okay, look at number two. Take your red ones. Put them on top of this figure here. So if I was doing that with mine, if I had red ones, I'd cover them in red. Okay. How many unit squares are within this shape? How many unit squares are within the shape? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what is the area of this rectangle? What is the area of this shape? We would say that it is six square units. Okay? Alrighty. That's a little bit about what area is. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is how the area of a figure relates to multiplication and addition. What, is area, what does multiplication and addition have to do with area? Okay, I'm gonna read something to you. Mrs. Ream wants to put new carpet in her bedroom. The bedroom is five yards long and four yards wide. How many square yards of carpet will she need to cover her bedroom floor? Now, this is not the same as what we did yesterday. If, if we were talking about perimeter, 
If we were talking about perimeter, that would be talking about, so it would be five yards long, four yards wide. Okay, this would be five on this side. This would be four on this side. And you would have added five plus four plus five plus four to get you 18 yards. But the thing about that is it's perimeter. It only talks about the outside area. Area is different. Woo, golly, if I can make that look right. Area is different. We're not talking about the outside of the square of the room. Now we're talking about the inside of the square. And I can tell you that if you told Mrs. Rames to buy 18 yards to cover that room, it would not be enough. That would be enough just to go along the outsides of the room and there would be nothing on the inside. So that's the difference between perimeter and area. Perimeter talks about the outside, whereas area talks about all of the space on the inside. Okay, so let me read this to you again. Keep out your area worksheet. We're not going to need that. Mrs. Ream wants to put new carpet in her bedroom. The bedroom is five yards long and four yards wide. How many square yards? So instead of calling it square units, because the unit was just a general type of measurement. Now we're talking about square yards. It's going to look the same. Your label is different. Okay. Don't let the difference between units and yards freak you out. The difference is just the fact that we're calling them yards. Now your, your, um, your label is different. Five yards long, four yards wide. How many square yards of carpet will she need to cover her bedroom floor? So taking a look. At number three, you right there. What do you think this area model represents for what we just talked about? This area represents the floor of Mrs. Rain's bedroom. How would you describe the arrangement of squares in this model? Kind of looks like an array. So how would you describe this array? you would say that there are four rows of five squares each. It is a four by five array. Four rows, here's one, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five. Four rows of five. So how would you find the total number of squares or unit squares in this region? If you weren't gonna count by ones, if you weren't gonna go one, two, three, four, five, how else could you figure out how many unit squares are here without counting by ones? Okay, you can do it by adding the squares in each row, which if we had we said we had four rows of five, so you can have five plus five plus five plus five. Five plus five plus five plus five. I know mine's really dark, guys. Sorry about that, but you've got yours in front of you too. So you could add the number in each row, five plus five plus five plus five. Or, what's the same as repeated addition? This is repeated addition. What's the same thing as repeated addition? Multiplication. What would your multiplication equation be? You have four sets of five. Okay, you could do either of those to figure it out. So I want you 
to write and solve right here, the repeated addition, and then write it as a multiplication equation. You should get the same answer for your area, okay? So write and solve that repeated addition and repeated multiplication equation on your page. I will do mine while you do yours. Five plus five is 10, plus five is 15, plus another five is 20. Four times five, I can count by fours five times, or I can count by fives five times. Five, 10, 15, 20. So now we need to answer the question they were asking. The question was, how many square yards of carpet will Mrs. Reams need to cover her bedroom floor? How many unit squares are there in her bedroom? There are 20. So the units, ah, I dropped my marker. The unit squares in this equation, or in this math problem, one unit square. One unit square in this problem represents yards represents one square yard okay so how many square yards of carpet will mrs reams need it's 20. so we found how many square units you need then we know that that they're finding the area in yards so the area equals 20 square yards, okay? Take a look at number four on your area page. Take a look at number four. Number four, dad is helping Colton build a sandbox for Colton's little sister. The sandbox is six feet long and six feet Feet wide. What is the area of the sandbox? What is the area of the sandbox? You'll write the repeated addition equation and you'll write it as a multiplication equation. You do yours while I do mine. Let's see if we get the same answer. I'm gonna talk out loud while I do mine though. So for the repeated addition, I need to count how many rows there are. There's going down, there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows. While I'm doing mine, I'm gonna make labels. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So then I need to figure out how many are in each row. This is my sets, by the way. There are one, two, three, four, five, there's six in each row. If it helps you write the multiplication equation to put that x in the corner, you sure can. But if I'm going to do my repeated addition, there's one row of six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six. I added, I'm adding together how many units are in each row. So there's six plus six plus six, and so on. If I'm gonna count by sixes, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So then as I look at it, I'm gonna see that it's a six by six array. So that's six sets or rows of six. And I know my multiplication facts, and I know six times six kind of rhymes. It's six times six is 36. So with all of that in mind, what is the area of the sandbox? What is the area 
the inside part of the sandbox. Area equals 36 square feet. 36 square feet. Now, the, the area, I cannot write backwards. I'm just lazy and I don't want to get out of my chair. The area is 36 square feet. Oh, we can agree on that, yes? The area is 36 square feet. I want you to find the perimeter of this shape, the perimeter of the sandbox. Remember, the perimeter is the sum of the side lengths. The sum of the side lengths. So you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, and do that around number four on your area sheet. So do not count the squares inside. Now we're looking for perimeter. You don't have a place for it. I just want you to practice what you learned yesterday. So counting along the outside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You do that. I'm gonna count mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm writing mine on there so I can have a visual of what I've already counted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, even though this is part of the same square, it's a different side. So we counted two, three, four, five, six. This is a side, seven. Down to 12, through 18, and up to 24. So the area, the inside part, of the sandbox is 36 square feet, but the perimeter, this is the sum of the side lengths, the distance around the shape, that was 24 square feet. The area and the perimeter will sometimes be the same, but not always. So it's important to know the difference between the area and the perimeter because if you had said 24 square feet for the area, they wouldn't know, they wouldn't have enough sand to fill it and they wouldn't know how much space was inside the sandbox. It would be wrong. So that's why it's important to know the difference. The perimeter and area are different because perimeter is the distance around a figure and is measured in units. Area is the space within or inside a figure and is also and is measured in square units. Actually, this is not square feet, sorry. 24 feet around. Square feet. feet. Area is measured in square units. Perimeter is just measured in units. Okay. Um, we're gonna save this for another time. We still have two more left on the bottom, so I don't want you to lose this page, please. And I'd like you to turn in your um, work text first to problem, or excuse me, page 216 in your work text. 216, we're gonna look at number four on our serve with map page. Number four on your serve with map page. Page 216. Haley's campsite is in the shape of a rectangle. Ha uh, what is the area? I'm gonna cover up the answers, except for the answers that you should have got last time. We are on this one right here, number four. Okay. 
Haley's campsite is in the shape of a rectangle. What is the area? Well, you need to write an equation here. They give you the shape. I'm not going to draw it, but you have an equation to figure out. Two operations you can use to find area. What are they? You can use addition, repeated addition, or you can use multiplication. Are there enough spaces here for you to do your repeated addition? Can you do, can you fit six plus six plus six plus six, counting the rows going across? No, nope, there's not enough. So it must not be a repeated addition. It must be that you're gonna need to use multiplication. Okay. How many rows? How many one? Nye, nye, nye. How many rows are there in her campsite? There's four. One, two, three, four. How many in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's generally, generally how it's all broken up. <laughs> six. There's four rows. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and in each row, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mrs. Graham, what a terrible illustration. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are four rows of six. So there's six, 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 and six. Four times six is what? You can count by fours. You can count by sixes. You could do six times two, which is 12. And then again, six times two is another 12 and 12 and 12 together is 24. So the area is what? Area is 24. How is area measured? Square yards. The area is 24 square yards. When we say square, I almost like to think of it in my head as like even all the yards in each section are equal, they are the same, so they're square yards, because a square is the same on both sides. Yes? Yeah. 24 square yards. Alrighty, now turn in your books to page 223 and 224. 223 and 224. Two twenty three and two twenty four. Okay. It says area at the top in your blue box. Area is the space within or inside a region or a figure. Region is kind of like another space, a region, a given space or a figure. Area is measured in square units. So that first figure that you see, they give you the repeated addition to find it. 3 plus 3 plus 3, measuring the three rows. Or the multiplication equation is 3 times 3. Both of those equations equal out to 9, so the area, excuse me, the area of that first figure is area equals 9 square units. The second figure has a rectangle. 
of three rows, so three going this way, three, with five in each. So you could do, um, you'd count, or sorry, you'd add the rows together, five plus five plus five, which is, or you could do multiplication, three rows of five equals, so the area equals 15 square units, okay? You're gonna do exactly that on this front page for all four. One, two, three, and four, you're gonna do exactly what's in the blue box, exactly what they show you. Repeated addition, multiplication equation, and then finish writing what the area answer is. On the back, you have another four. Okay, we really want to make sure that you are familiar and comfortable with doing, with finding area this way, okay? Then down at the bottom, you have some review for lines. I know I didn't have this before, I had to draw them all on the board, but I've got this now, okay? A line, parallel lines, intersecting lines, line segment, and array, angle, okay? Um, yeah, I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you this one too, why not? Eek. Line segment, angle, vertex, right angle, okay? So you have those, but also you can look back in your work text on other pages if you need some help figuring those out, okay? Um, your review pages for today will be 219 and 220. Make sure you're getting those done. Ask for help if you need it, as always, guys, okay? Love ya. See you later.